these molecules have certain colors and flavors that I can steer people towards. And often it's, it, you don't need to be a, a beagle to know the difference. If you get resveratrol and it's not light gray, fluffy, um, or white, it's, it's often brown or dark, basically black, throw that away. That means it's either gone off or it was never purified. And you'll probably get diarrhea, something worse. Um, so look look for these products to be white or light gray. At a time. Um, resveratrol will taste a bit like uh, cement um, and behave a lot like cement. So that's why I mix it. In fact, I, just before we came on, uh, I was mixing some quercetin and some fizzy. And uh, normally I do that in the morning, I was busy. Uh, and you have to mix that with yogurt um, or with some olive oil because otherwise it's it's going to be like concrete. It doesn't get into the body. So that's resveratrol. Um, most brands of resveratrol actually have resveratrol in them. So that's good news. You don't have a lot of risk there. I won't mention brands, but I would say look for companies that make products that are what are called GMP, uh, good manufacturing processes. And that means that the but there's not bits of metal and uh, insects in um, So do that, but also get greater than 98 for supplements. That's a good guy. Um, often there are these blends and uh, extracts of this and that. I like to avoid them. They're not consistent. And often the people who make the products don't know what's in them. Um, and in the case of NMN and NR, those things should be white uh, and crystalline. If they start to go a little bit red, uh, in the case of NR, it's gotten wet. It's bad. Don't use that. Um, and these products, especially uh, NR and to some extent NMN, you want to keep them in the fridge. And if you want to store them for more than a few months, put them in the freezer because they do upgrade over time. And that's something that often isn't known. Um, NMN, if you want to know if it's the real stuff, it should taste a bit like sweet popcorn. It's got a, a sugar on it. The molecule of NMN is a sugar which is a ribose and a phosphate and then vitamin B3 stuck on that. And that you can taste, taste the sugar. Uh, but, you know, that's basically the tip. Is to Go for a highly pure 98% plus GMP and, and a company that not just started up last week. There are a few of them out there that, are, that have been around for a decade or more and uh, are trusted by doctors as well.